back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing well. I'm going to do something that I've never done before in my entire life. I'm going to start packing quite a bit earlier than I usually do. I usually pack. I'm notorious for packing the day before I fly. I do it all the time. I just do. It's just my thing. I pack the day before I go. But I've been trying outfits on. I've been getting inspired. I've been feeling good and I want to pack. So I'm going to start putting outfits that I want to bring in the case um, because I'm not going to wear them before I go away. It is currently what day we're on? Wednesday and I go away next Tuesday. I'm packing nearly a week early. Oh my God, Demi. Anyway, like I said, I've been buying some bits and bobs, trying new things on, and I just fancied packing. So I'm going to start. Anyway, I bought this yesterday. All right, guys. So I always, when I go into town, I really have struggled with high street shopping for years because I've always been bigger than the shops would cater for size wise. So I would always just go straight to Primark. I would say what's in Primark. If Primark didn't have every, anything that I wanted, I wouldn't bother going in any of their shops. I would go online shopping. But I have lost a little bit of weight and I'm a UK 16 at the moment. And that size is actually in high street shops. Um, It's like an XL. Anyway, so I went in, Monkey, H&M, and actually bought some stuff. Anyway, this is the first little thing I got from Monkey. It's just like a little cardigan thing. This trip I'm going, I haven't even told you where I'm bloody going ever. I'm going to Turkey, I'm going to Istanbul again, and I'm actually going with the Turkish tourism board again. I cannot believe it, it's a much bigger trip than last time. It's like five days. I'm so internally grateful. Can I just like, can I just literally, like I can't, I can't even describe how much YouTube changed my life and the opportunities it's brought for us and like getting to work with the Turkish charism board is like what absolutely not I can't believe it like I actually can't believe they want me to go to their country to showcase their country like it's absolutely mental but anyway that's where I'm going I'm very excited I'm going to Istanbul it's a historic trip so we are going to be going to a lot of museums and I am just so so excited it's a joke anyway i feel like it's going to be spring weather when we're there i've been looking and the temperature is going to be around 19 degrees so i have been catering that in mind when i've been looking at my outfit and i want to take some like little cami dresses but because turkey is a muslim country i believe i want it to be respectful um there's no regulations on what you can and can't wear in turkey as far as i've researched However, I, don't, I, I want to be respectful. So I didn't want to wear just little cami tops with like no overlayer and stuff. So I bought myself um, this little like light cardigan, which I really like. And then I bought this from Primark. This one is like a knitted kind of neck looking one um, in black. I bought a few things. I'll kind of show you what I bought as I'm packing. I think that's going to be the easiest solution. I don't own packing cubes i should probably should have got some but i don't own packing cubes so i've just categorized my stuff but i do have bags to put stuff in because my worst nightmare is a case where everything's just lying around i like things to be organized but this is the side of my case where i usually put my packaging bag so i have this white canvas bag i always put my handbags in that I want to take. I'll have with us my um, everyday handbag, which I'll take on the plane with us. And then I'm taking this little black one from Primark, which I haven't got around to using yet, but I just thought it's a good size for any evening outings um, and it just fits my phone and card holder in. I'm taking my card holder as well, just in case I want to move to this from my purse. And then I'm also taking a brown option as well, which is my fake Louis Vuitton, which I actually got last time I was in Turkey. So I feel like... They're my three bag options, which I'm just putting in this white canvas bag and tying up. I like to have a few options just in case. This is my little jewellery travel pouch. I've just put in a few pairs of earrings. I love this one because it's compartment into like different things. So like they don't tangle. But anyway, it's actually from Boundary Mill, just in case anybody's asking. So that is my jewellery in here. I have my makeup so this is like a really good case because it extends out like this oh I forgot to zip that one I can just hang it up when I get there so in the top compartment here I have um basically just things I need my tissues my mini travel razor and all my contact lenses but I will carry contact lenses in my hand luggage as well my makeup and makeup brushes are in here I really love this bag I got sent it in a PR parcel and it's just great the compartment so that is makeup 
this is hair so katie who i'm going with is going to bring her air wrap so i'm going to rely on that to do my hair the only thing i'm bringing is my hairbrush a velcro roll and my heatless curlers um i'm bringing do, 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 some clips bobbles just anything i might need for my hair that's not a physical electronic thing that is hair in here is underwear so i have some socks i'm just taking these fuzzy socks instead of slippers and then i have some thongs i have my step ones which are an absolute necessity for me on holidays because they go under dresses and they stop you getting chub broke because they're like little boxer shorts and then i'm also taking a pair of my wuka period pants just in case then i've got thongs i've got some socks but i did the other day in h&m the other day i bought some new underwear simply because some of the stuff i've bought i don't want you to be able to see my underwear so i'm going to pack a few of these this is just like a seamless white set seamless nude i've got the seamless thong on because i want to wear that as well so i'll have to wash them and then put, pack them but i have a week i'm organized do, do, do. i'll leave them ones here we'll go with the black oh no we'll go with nude i feel like nude's the safest option i roll everything my grandma taught us the rolling method years ago and i love it i bought these little shoe things just in case i needed them for any of my sandals they're not going to fit in my underwear bag so they can just go underneath i'll make an exception i just like how everything when i open my case looks like categorized and like nice and then this will be my clothes and shoes side or i might squeeze a few shoes in here right these little socks can just slide down here i have a few bags left oh my god this is my skincare and makeup one. So in here, I just have my tan, my skincare, my nail polish. I will be adding stuff in here, actually. So from Primark, I got some more round pads because I needed some. So I'm going to take a handful of these with us. I also always bring, I love these from Primark. It's the foldable toothbrushes. They're only a pound and you actually get a toothpaste with it. So I'm going to take one of them with us. And then I got this little case from Primark um oh yeah i forgot about them right, i'm just gonna slide that one in there that one can stay yeah i think that was just an eyebrow pencil and then these headbands are so good for like just when you need your head off your hair and then i'll keep the rest in there right and then i got this little package stuff to put my shampoo and conditioner and stuff in because i liked how it had its own little bag so i need to do that here we go this is skincare it's not gonna fit though is it right that one is one of the bigger ones so it needs to go in first then we'll try this one oh there we go <laughs> and because i use the bags the same all the time i know exactly what's in them that's my hair bag that's my underwear bag my bags bag my jewelry skincare and extra bits makeup and cosmetics and then i do have the primark one which once i've filled up will just actually squeeze in there very nicely i do have extra bags so i have this little molten brown canvas bag if i find anything i have this organized chaos bag right i need to rein it in on the shoes because i've been trying my outfits on and honestly i kid you not i think i've tried about 15 pairs of shoes okay that's dramatic do i even own 15 pairs of shoes probs not no not 15 but probably like eight and I need to rein it in. I have made an order on everything £5 and I ordered three pairs of sandals and I'm hoping and praying they come in time. Yeah, I need them sandals. I really want them sandals. See, I was going to take my chunky boot, right? But now I'm thinking no because I feel like it's going to be hot and do I really want to walk around in a boot? Oh, my Henry. Hi. Oh, you're so handsome. Because I'm getting stressed about the shoes. I don't know what to do about the shoes because I've still got a week. This maybe is why I don't pack so early because I can't. Well, I usually could because I don't usually order stuff. But I have ordered these shoes. And I like my shoes to go... Oh, sorry, hands. I like my shoes to go at the bottom of the case. Um, I'm thinking now, like, I can't really pack this side of the case because I want... Hmm, I want sandals. Right, I think I'm going to pause packing just for a day or two and see... Because it is a bit early... Paul, I was going to say I've resumed. I've paused the packing, made an executive decision because I need to see what the situation with my shoes are. I need to see if my other shoes turn up, which is the ones I've ordered. Anyway, I'm going to resume the packing at a later date. Props won't film it because I probably will leave the rest until Sunday and I'll be in a rush. Right, I'm going to take my makeup off because you know when it just aggravates you. Where have I put my big cleanser out in the bathroom? Obviously, do it there. 
I don't know why I said wait there is if you're going to run off. Well, you could click off the video, but the camera ain't going anywhere, is it? I'm going to take my makeup off with this. It's a Ketafil Gentle Skin Cleanser, Normal to Dry Skin. I've been having some like little bumps under my skin as of recent. It's not being nice. So I'm going to take my makeup off, put my jammies on and see where the night takes us. Oh, I need to take my makeup off. I'll go in the shower. Yeah, I'll take my makeup off, go in the shower. Does anyone else's head just sometimes feel fuzzled? Like you just can't think straight or get anything right because your head's just like not today love my taps take so long to heat up so if you wonder why i've had it running it's because it takes so long to heat up and we've got a combi by you as well i don't know what the issue is say it's only just lukewarm now and i've had it running for ages right going in with my magic sponge and wiping the day away I put this makeup on with the intention of like bulk filming some reels. I was going to do a sit down haul. I was going to do some reels. Did I do any of it? Did I hell? Um, I tried something new. I tried to pack early and I'm going to say it didn't work out for us. I just feel like I've got myself in a right mess. I've been in the shower and I just feel like I've packed stuff that I potentially might need. But I'm going to just make myself do without for a week because I'm not unpacking all the little bags I've just packed. You know what I mean? Right. The hair is going up. I was going to heatless curl at the night, but guess what? I've packed me fucking heatless curlers, haven't I? Don't know. I don't even know what I've got on tomorrow. I need to check. Right, I've just got out of the shower. I'm going to just do my skincare. I don't know if you can see, but my skin's just got like tiny little lumps on it and it's really aggravating us. Right, I'm just going to use some of the Lancaster Perfecting Toner. Oh, I just love it. It's so milky and creamy and it just works for my skin type. I think it's the change of season that's made my skin go funny because... It does happen. It's not gone as bad as it usually does, though. Usually, I would come on in a full rash, and it's very subtle this time round. And I do think it's not become as bad because I've been using my Skin and Me still. I'm just going to put a little bit of this La Cura Miracle Cream. It's a rip-off of the Elizabeth Auden one. This is just Aldi's version of it. It's like a bomb. But I do honestly feel like it really helps, like, areas of, like, that need it. I just put it around my nose. And a little bit where I get dry on my forehead. And then I'm going to go in with my Skin and Me Daily Dosa. This isn't an ad. I've spoke about Skin and Me on my channel so many times before. Because it literally changed my life when it comes to my skincare. And it's so handy to package. And that is the recommended amount for your skin. It's so handy. I just love the way it gets delivered and everything. But yeah, it's just so good on my skin. And then I'm just going to hydrating mist this is just the vitamin e hydrating mist from super drug i'm gonna be honest i do not know if my skincare care products blend well together i don't know if they're meant to be used together i don't know anything it's just a little routine that works for me face is done i'm gonna go and have another cup of tea i've literally had two cups of tea already tonight but i need another one because i didn't have any tea bags in the house for about a week and i was having green tea and i felt very let down by it because i'm just not here for the green tea life you know Gonna take my contacts out and put my glasses in because they're irritating a little bit. Put my glasses on even. There we go. Blind as a bat now. I haven't used my glasses in so long. I need to get another pair to be fair, like another reserve pair. Because this pair are wonky as hell. They're wonky, I just hate them. But they're just my, my little comfort thing for when I'm in the house. They're fucking full of cream or something. Right, is that it? That does look better. This is very much a, if I don't laugh, I will cry situation. Basically, this, this day has been the day of cancellations for me. Across the board, I'm not sure what's happened, but I woke up this morning 
and I was due to be waiting in most of the day to day for my windscreen to be fixed. Um, if you don't know, a few vlogs ago, basically got a crack on my windscreen. I'd booked in through my insurance and they basically were gonna come and fix it today. Now they rang us and said that it couldn't come and it's not rearranged until the 15th of May. And I'm just like, 15th of May? That got canceled. And I was like, fine, it's one of them things. I can still drive the car luckily, but you know, I want it fixed. So I was like, one of them things, cracked on with me day. I got a text to say that my friend Natalie wasn't coming over. I don't worry, Natalie, I don't hate you. Things happen, but like she canceled. So I was like, fine, another thing, it's fine. And then I got, I, then I got the text of all text. I packed yesterday, didn't I? You watched us get giddy and pack and be a week organized, be a week early with my packing, be organized. Um, long story short, got canceled. My trip to Turkey, my holiday got canceled. I'm just like, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, basically the reason it got cancelled was there was an itinerary issue. They, they weren't 100% happy with the itinerary. It is being rearranged, but obviously I don't know the date or anything like that or like when it's going to be, what's happening. So I am a little bit disappointed, but all is not lost. The case packing was not a waste. The new clothes were not a waste because I am still going to London next week, which is exciting. My friend Katie Meehan lives in London and I haven't seen her in a long time and she was going to come on the trip with us. So I'm just going to go down to London. I'm going to stay at hers for a week and we'll have loads of content planned. We've been planning content together for quite a while, so it'll be nice to actually have that happen. No longer going on holiday, but that's fine. That's life. Shit happens. Also, today was a very good charity shop day. I'm going to fill them a full haul because... <laughs> Bargains galore. Anyway, I'm not going to take any more. I am disappointed, but I feel like, as my mum says, everything happens for a reason. And I feel like it just wasn't meant to be. I've just been my PO box. I want to show you some parcels, which this one I actually opened, but I'm so excited. It's a full version of the Skin and Me SPF. So they sent us a miniature version probably like a month ago and I've been using it and I love it so much. Obviously I wear SPF every single day. This is a um, SPF of 50 but it's so nice on my skin. A lot of the SPFs I have are thick. This is so lightweight and thin that it spreads beautifully on my skin and I'm just really excited that they've sent me the full version. Alongside that this is the most exciting parcel ever. So Love Raw are one of my absolute favourite vegan chocolate brands and they were featured in a magazine and they've sent me this let us get everything out and show you so craft gin club actually featured love raw in their magazine so i got sent a pr parcel with loads of stuff in it and i'm like oh my god so i got this sparkling raspberry flavored water can which i'm so excited about then there's two tonics gin and to be honest gin and tonic is the only way gin should be drank all my friends sean everybody drinks it with lemonade and i'm like you're spoiling it Gin should be with tonic. This is a very exciting gin. I've never had it before. New Zealand heritage gin. And then there's also this little like syrup cocktail thing, which I'm just like, are you kidding? And I also got two crisps. These are the lamb and rosemary and mint, but they're actually vegan. So that is very, very exciting to try. And then I got these ones, which are the Eat Boundless, sourdough and onion. Oh my God, sour cream and onion, sourdough. And then I got one of my Love Raw bars. These, this is the Biscoff one. Well, caramelized biscuit, it's like a Biscoff. These bars are so good. They're like a vegan version of a Kinder Bueno, the normal one. So they sent over a ginger beer and an Old Mount Cider. I love that. I don't know if this one's vegan, so I might have to give it to Sean. It might well be, but I don't believe this brand is. Yeah, this one has milk in it, so I can't have this one, but I'll give this one to Sean. Um, this is the Fulfill Chocolate Salted Caramel one. Thank you so much to Love Raw and to Craft Gin Club for sending them over. I am the spoiltest person in the world. And then I have two more parcels. I know who they're off because they've put their brand and labels on them. This is Love Cases, who so kindly sent us send us parcels nearly every month. They're always so cute. So I've got some little Easter stands for my phone. So you clip these to the back of the phone and they're like, you can like hold it and stuff. And then they've sent us some Easter and spring cases. So I've got an Easter egg case and this one. Oh, I'm so gutted that I missed Easter for them. But then I have these gorgeous spring ones, but I fly in tulips. Very cute. Thank you, love cases. This is off Bondi Sands. Ooh. The pure self tan foaming water. Ooh, light to medium with hydronic acid and vitamin C made. What is this? Clean, simple, transparent. Pure self tan foaming water. Ooh, this looks exciting. I'm excited to try that. I have been sampling new tans recently. Ooh, the balsa scent is 
a reusable self-tan applicating mitt love to see it and a coconut body scrub sea salt ah thank you so much bondi i'm so grateful like so grateful i'm gonna end this video here because i feel like i am still gonna be packing for my trip but it is what it is um i'm gonna end the video here i feel like we're done well, this video is done thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed another vlog and as you can tell i love doing vlog style content at the moment but without further ado, i'll see you very shortly for another one bye